In today's video, I finished building my own village in Minecraft Survival, which now means I can start trading and exploiting villages for unlimited emeralds and loot. If you enjoy this video at any point, don't forget to leave a like, and yeah, enjoy this episode. And this video shout out is coming from... Twitter. Thank you to this person, you're an absolute legend. G'day guys, my name's Wadzi and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And today I'm finishing off this village and I'm so excited to do it. I had so much fun in the last episode actually building this village. It was so like just, just relaxing, just being able to build for once. So I was reading some of the comments on the last video on what to name our village here. And I think the winner is going to be Wawaville or like Wawa Land. No, nah, Wawaville, I think. Oh! Anyway, so my plan from here is to, uh, I'm going to map out, because we're going to have to build a lot more of these houses to home our villages. So I'm going to map out where I want to put them. I've already mapped out one here, another one over here. I think then we probably put one over here. Excuse me, villager. All right, so, so far, what's that? That's five. Can go ahead, put another one around over here. Hi there, it's me, Wadzi from the future. Just here to let you guys know that this episode is probably going to be a bit of a mess, so I apologize for that, but I'll jump in every now and then just so you guys know what's going on. And maybe we could do one like half on the water, half not over here. That might look pretty cool. So, so far that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guess we'll do one out here facing onto the water. Maybe we'll do two facing onto the water. I mean, that's a fair few houses. I can't even lie. Because I'm planning to ha put uh, two beds in every house. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. Two thousand years later. 16, 18, 20 villages. I might just stop there for now. From there, I'm going to make a start to every house. So let's go get some materials. I'm going to need lots of these spruce logs. All right, let's get building. So I started building just the beginning of each of my villager houses, but this did not come without running into a few problems. Hmm, just notice I've probably made this one probably too close to the wall here. I'm gonna move it over a bit. Just fill all this in with dirt. How the, how the hell did this zombie get in here? And just as I thought I had made a good start today, I realized another problem. Dude, I've just noticed that in this house, oh, that was a big jump. In this house, I've used dark oak logs. And in all these other houses, I've used Stupid. spruce. I'm gonna have to replace all of it. Oh, this is such a disaster. Look. Bruh. Okay, whatever. Time to cut down some uh, dark oak trees now, I guess. This gives you an idea of what this place is going to look like. Heaps of buildings all around the place. And then in the middle here, we'll have some farms and stuff. We'll uh, we'll work on it. Going to be awesome though. All right, welcome back. As you can see, as I walk around here, I've finished, I mean, I guess you could say the base of all these houses. As I walk around, you'll see I've changed them all back to the bloody dark oak logs. That was such a pain, but yeah. The next step here is going to be uh, putting beds in all these houses. And then I think I'll also start putting all the like, blocks, which will give these guys their jobs. So first, let's go make a heap of beds. All right, so now we gotta also figure out what sort of jobs we want these guys to have. First one, which is the easiest, if I remember how to do it correctly, is this sucker. There we go, the composter. That will give us farmers, which is something we do want. Let's make two of those. Also, a lot of you guys were commenting, letting me know that this green guy can't actually trade or learn a job, so he's gonna stay green forever. So that's fine, I guess. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've made all the blocks the jobs. I've got at least one of every type and the ones I find it slightly more important I've got two. I've got two fishermen which will live in here. Fletching tables I might chuck two in here. Brewing stands for clerics. Lectern. These are important actually. Cartographers I don't necessarily need two of. In fact I should probably work on getting the beds in here first before I chuck down all these tables. In fact I might move some of these beds into houses upstairs instead. 
So to be quite honest with you, you don't really need to know how or where I put all these blocks and tables. All that's important to know is that I did, and from that point onwards, I started a grind. Firstly to finish building all the houses, but also to constantly breed until Wawaville was fully populated. <laughs> Isn't this cool? Look at all these villagers running around. We definitely need a bit more food for them all though, I guess, because I don't think they're breeding as fast as they were. Can you guys breed, please? I love you. Alright, so first thing I want to put in in every house is windows, firstly, so I can start seeing where all our damn villagers are. All right, looking nice. Now we just need to start building the roofs and all the details to each of these buildings. So I guess let's do a bit of a montage. So I just spent all that time doing these two houses and these two houses only and it took me almost 30 minutes. I mean, to be fair, I didn't do it in the most efficient way probably, but uh, it's gonna take me a while to actually decorate all of these houses. Um, but yeah, that's the process. I'm gonna do the rest just off camera. And then when I'm done, I should hopefully come back and we should have full village that is fully populated. All right, so quick little update. What I've managed to do since I last filled you in was I've gone and uh, kind of started all the roofs for all the buildings, but I've also done all the smaller details, at least majority of them around like the windows and like all the, you know, exterior walls. So now all that's really left to do for all of them is just do the roof, which is the hardest bit. All right, I'm back with another update. Um, we've actually managed to finish the roofs and most of the details of all the houses around here. I've noticed that they are very cramped together. They're very cramped. So in terms of actually building this place is obviously a lot more I could do to make this place you know a more complete village but for now I want to stop building and I want to actually go and do some trading with some of our villagers so here's where things start to get a little messy so before I start bombarding you with the clips of me trading with villagers allow me to give you a quick tour of Wawaville so first come through this wonderful gate here you walk along this path lovely path come down this way you can see first house in the village with our center beacon here lovely more houses up this way. Perfect. Little tight knit community. Villages and iron golems everywhere. Around the corner here, we've got more farms. You know, we've used every bit of space we can here. Another big carrot farm in the middle here. More houses facing onto the water. Down here, we got, I guess, the town furnace. I guess you could call this. I don't know. Nice little dungeon lair. Up this way, you got two more houses. Out across here, you've got the lookout over the hole. Few more houses down this way, lovely stuff, and then you got the pier, takes us right back to the beginning. And yeah, that's Wawaville. <laughs> Alright, now let's trade these damn villagers. Alright, so I just wanted to document my first trades with some villagers here. So, there we go, there's some with a farmer. Here's some more trades with a farmer. String for emeralds, definitely gonna come in clutch. You want coal, there we go. Coal for emeralds, that's also a good trade. Oh, fishermen take coal for a better trade. That's way better. Oh, well, we've already got 43 emeralds. All right, important update. I've just leveled up both my farmers to be able to trade melons. And this is a huge thing because as you may know, I have the biggest melon farm on YouTube. In a moment here, you're about to see a masterpiece. Voila. Look at this thing. But anyway, I have all these melons that I'm really not doing anything with at all. So what I can do now is break all these suckers, then I can go back and trade them for sweet, sweet emeralds. All right, where are our farmers at? Instantly leveled him up with that one trade. 
platform. I guess I want to start trading with my librarians here because what I actually hope to get out of these guys is mending books. Fortunately, I just wasted a lot of emeralds for not much, but I guess that's part of the <laughs> part of the game. And I now have this trade for nether warts for emeralds. Also been trading iron for emeralds because I've got an iron farm now, so why not? Fletcher is good because you can just trade sticks for emeralds and, you know, free emeralds. The only real trades I care about making though, I guess, are I want to, um, I want to trade my librarians for mending books. But yeah, this guy hasn't given me any mending trades, so I kind of want him to swap jobs. All right, so we're back in this place. And if you know what this place is, then this is a pretty sad sight. It's not all bad, but also that was a disaster. We lost about 60 levels in experience. That was not good. We've learned a very valuable lesson today. And after all that, only one iron golem remains. But um, the reason I'm over here is because over here, I've got some nether stars left over from when I fought two withers at once. And honestly, if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. But I thought I may as well, uh, I may as well put a beacon in our, in our village. I think that'd be pretty cool if we did that. So, all right, let's craft another damn beacon. Boom. And thus started the mission to find a villager that would give me a mending trade. Two thousand years later. All right, we did it. There we go. Here's the guy. Here's the librarian. We got a mending trade for ten emeralds. That's so cheap. I want to get mending on all my gear. So one, two, three, four. I think we're gonna need six mending books. So let's go get six books and get these trades done. <coughs> oh Jesus, that hurt. There you are. One, two, three, four, five. Six mending books. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. Now we've also gathered a heap of levels, as you can see from trading all these villages. Villages give you so much XP, it's insane. Only three levels to put it on. That's nuts. Okay, well, that's one, that's two, that's three. Maybe let's put it on our ax now. Okay, now it's getting pricey, 17 levels. How about our shovel? How much does that cost? Nine, let's do that. Let's put mending on our chest plate, I guess. Alrighty, the final mending enchantment on the axe. We now have mending on every piece of our gear. Alright, and I think that marks the end of this episode. You know, we've got an awesome flow of emeralds. You know, we've got, well, five and a half stacks. I think I definitely underestimated the power of villagers and villager trading. I definitely could have used them a lot more in this world. We've got this village now, and it's good to have, but will it all be worth it? Well, if you've been paying attention, you may be wondering what that monstrosity over there is, and all will be answered in the next episode. But thanks for watching this one, and I'll catch you later. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me further, follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter, join my Discord, or even follow me on TikTok. All the links are below. Thank you.